What up, friends and family? It's your boy Mike. And your girl Bree. Hey, and we back in this thing to talk about a show, a uh, movie we seen <laughs> on Netflix called uh, Cutthroat City. Yes. Based out of New Orleans, uh, written by RZA. And, I mean, it had some big people in here. It did. But the story <laughs> was kind of, uh, it was missing so it a little bit. If you ain't got nothing to watch, it's a play. If you got some other stuff to watch, you can skip this and <laughs> come back to it later. Yeah. So what you feel like? Um, I would say that this is kind of a skip for me. Um, I don't know that I would even go back to watch it. I ain't gonna lie. I wasn't really fully into the movie um, that much. It had some good parts. But yeah. then it was just like it lost me. It's in like certain it had the potential to set up to be a great movie, but I feel like I it just it just me it just missed it. Like yeah, it especially with them big names in it, and yeah. maybe they ran out of budget and couldn't you know handle it all because they had Terrence Howard, they had Ti, mm -hmm. uh, they had a dude that looked like Tupac, mm -hmm. they had Shamik Moore, the dude from Dope. Oh yeah, they had uh, Kat Graham, who was also in what's the name of that movie? No, uh, she was in Vampire Diaries. She's she was also in uh, she's also in can't think of it right now. But anyways, um, so they definitely had some good names in there. Uh, like you said, there was a lot of potential. Yeah, because it was based off of how life was after uh, Katrina. Uh, it was and focused around the Ninth War. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they, after that, I mean, times were tough. So they, people had to figure out a way to make some money. So mm -hmm. they, fig they figured they would, instead of going through FEMA mm -hmm. and buying, you know, the whole conspiracy around right. that, we ain't even going to touch that. <laughs> They, you know, we about to got they hit these casinos up. We ain't about to steal from the uh, pole folk. We about to right. hit these people so, up where they got some bread. Right. So, and then I just feel like there was holes. And then it started to set up kind of almost like it's supposed to be a set it off type <laughs> vibe at the end. I, yeah, I was yeah, like, it did have it's, that it's just all over the place. I don't know. I mean, I think that it was really kind of a skip for me because I felt like I couldn't fully get into it. Like, I get invested into the people that were in the movie although they had such great actresses and actors in the movie it, it was just hard for me to get into oh it. now that you say that then they had ti like he had Vinalago, ain't this man yeah like come on bro y'all could have got somebody really with it to play that part i do agree with that part definitely um i think that on that end of it, they could have just, I don't know him having the, I do think they could have found somebody that actually had Vitiligo to play the position, the, not position, but the character, if they really wanted to. Um, that did throw me off in the movie, the fact that they tried to like make makeup Vitiligo. Yes. When you could have found somebody and that really then... had Vitiligo. <laughs> At the end, it kind of got confusing. I don't know if I missed something. I blinked my <laughs> eyes. I dozed off or something. But it was like, he got killed at the end. But then it showed him He's showing. Yeah, him yeah. signing books. So did that happen before they got shot up? Or was that saying like, this is what could have been? Or is this saying that? That was just a dream or something. I don't know. Yeah, it they just, didn't really explain that yeah, part it very just, well. It just went from one thing to another. Um, it was just, it was hard for me to keep up with. Oh, hard. then they had um, my dude from The Wire in it. Oh, yeah, they did. So, yeah, a lot of them big actors. You know, that's yeah, a lot of money. They had some big people in there. Um, I just think that the storyline maybe was it should have been like a TV show clear. more than a movie. Yeah, it could have been good maybe as a show rather than a movie because it just seems so mush together. Yeah, I I don't know, but I mean it would be a skip for me. I think in the case that I'll have anything else to watch, I probably will watch it. But 
I'm not purposely going out and saying, oh, let's watch Cutthroat City again. Mm. Nah. No. <laughs> I probably wouldn't even, I don't know if I'd even recommend for somebody else to go watch. Well, you just break a mean and they ain't got nothing to watch. I mean, yeah, I watch. guess. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, that's all I got on it. Yeah, me too. So, let us know what y'all thought below. If y'all thought it was a good movie. I mean, because some people may think it was a great movie. I mean, I don't think it's not for everybody. It yeah. went for us this time. But it might be for somebody that's out there. So, maybe. Let us know down below. It's been your boy Mike. And your girl Bree. Hey, we out.